even as one heat another heat expels, or as one nail by strength drives out another. So the remembrance of my former love is by a newer object quite forgotten. Is it mine eye or Valentine's praise, her true perfection, or my false transgression that makes me reason less to reason thus? So says Proteus and two gentlemen of Verona, a part I play at Stratford. I was cast on the same day as Heidi the dog. <laughs> Heidi was an English sheepdog, a, a, a Dulux dog, and she was up for the part of Crab the dog. And she got the role. In technicals, when she came on stage and under the very strong lights at Stratford, her usually very white hair looked yellow. And from the stalls came the cry from a very famous Shakespearean director, John Barton, Die the dog blue! <laughs> Heidi was dyed blue. Anyway, we came to performance and Heidi would bounce onto the stage. She'd be hit by the lights and go, Oh my God, I'm blue! She'd have a nervous breakdown and poo on the spot. Not just small poo. Anyway, I, I, it was sort of fine, except all of my soliloquies were after the launce and crab the dog scenes. So all I can remember when my time at Stratford was everybody, and we, we were all in, it was in the round, so everybody was on stage. There was Patrick Stewart and Sheila Hancock and Hugh Quashy. They were all on their hands and knees trying to scoop up this poo. <laughs> she is fair. And so is Julia that I... <laughs> that I love, that I did love. Now my love is thawed, which like a waxen image against a fire bears no impression of the thing it was. Methinks my zeal to Valentine is cold, <laughs> and that I love him not as I was wont. Oh, but I love his lady too, too much, and that's the reason I love him so little. Tis but her picture I have yet beheld, and that hath dazzled my reason's light. But when I look on her perfections, there is no reason, but I shall be blind. If I can check my erring love, I will. If not, to compass her, I'll use my skill. <laughs>